How many species do you think go extinct every day? One, two, maybe three at a push? I'm sorry to break it to you, but according to scientists, as many as 200 species go extinct every 24 hours. That means every year, there are up to 73,000 fish, insects, mammals, and plants we might never see again. So we're currently living through one of the greatest mass extinctions since the dinosaurs died off 65 million years ago. But while some of these creatures are unique and beautiful, others are just downright weird. With that, let's take a look at some really amazing animals on the verge of extinction. The Beautiful Black-Footed Cat What's the deadliest predator you can think of? Is it a pack of wolves? Maybe a huge lion? Well, why don't you try this little creature on for size? Despite its appearance, this isn't your neighborhood's local tabby out on a big adventure. It's Africa's black-footed cat, one of the most effective killing machines in the world. Even though, fully grown, it's just about 20 inches long and weighs in at a little over 4 pounds, the black-footed cat has an impressive hunting success rate of 60%. That puts it far ahead of wolves at 14% and even lions at 25%. But even though they can make a quick meal of many small mammals and birds, the black-footed cat is a vulnerable creature itself. This is because farmed animals overgraze in the cat's natural habitat, which reduces the amount of prey it has to hunt. Not only that, but poisons used to kill locusts and larger predators like jackals and carcals have caused serious harm to the black-footed cat's population. So much so, it's believed less than 10,000 of these mature furry felines are left in the world. Well, at least little ones like this have nine lives, right? Right? Incredible Irish Wolfhound now, if you prefer dogs to cats, then this next animal will be your big best friend. This is the Irish Wolfhound, and it's been a resident of Ireland since the days of ancient Rome. On average, the Irish Wolfhound is the largest breed of dog in the world. It can weigh up to 180 pounds and measure as long as 7 feet from toe to tip. These absolute giants were bred for a number of reasons, from hunting to warfare. In ancient battles, the Irish Wolfhound was used to pull enemy soldiers off their horses, and in times of peace, they were used to cull wolves, hence their name. They were also used to hunt big game, such as boar and even elk. But as the number of wolves and elk decreased in Ireland, so too did the demand for such an enormous dog. By the early 1800s, the breed was in the process of dying out, before a man named Augustus Graham made it his life's mission to save them. Graham bred the dogs for 20 years, focusing on preserving the breed's unique size and appearance, and managed to bring them back from the brink. Today, the Irish Wolfhound is still a rare breed, considered vulnerable to extinction, and there's fear that their gene pool simply isn't diverse enough for them to continue much longer. Still, the fact that there are any left at all may all be down to Augustus Graham, a man who was truly dog's best friend. Perfect pangolins. Hold on, back up. Is that an anteater wearing chainmail? Eh, close, it's actually a pangolin. Found in Asia and parts of Africa, these armored animals can weigh up to 73 pounds and have an incredibly strange anatomy. The outer scales are made of keratin, the same stuff a rhino's horn is made from, so they're super tough. When they're startled, they roll up into a ball, completely covering themselves up to keep any predators at bay. A pangolin's armor is reportedly tough enough to withstand a bite from a lion. And that's not all, though. Pangolins primarily eat ants and small bugs, which live in hard-to-reach crevices. As such, pangolins have evolved long, weird tongues that can reach 15 inches in length. That's somehow creepy and cute. Though you may not have seen one before, this adorable animal is one of the most trafficked creatures in the world. 
They're poached primarily for their meat and scales, which are used for food and folk remedies. While exact worldwide numbers aren't known, more than 200,000 of them are poached from the wild each year. That means even though there are eight different species of pangolin, all of them are currently at risk of extinction. That's the kind of fact that just makes you want to curl up into a ball and cry. Cute Kakapo Over in the forests of New Zealand is an animal often called the owl parrot. Although, adorably, they act more like owl cats, this fat forest-dwelling bird is the kakapo, the heaviest species of parrot in the world, with adults weighing up to 9 pounds. They were once a common species in New Zealand, but when colonizers arrived, they began hunting them and introduced new predators into their habitat. There were as few as 51 kakapo left in the wild by the 1990s, and though there are now over 200 thanks to conservation efforts, that's still a critically low number for a species. This is especially tragic as the kakapo is known to be a charming, friendly, and trusting bird. They're so gentle, in fact, that when they're startled or scared, they tend to just freeze in place wherever they are. What's even more heart-pulling is that kakapo can't fly and only really use their wings to balance and parachute down after climbing up trees. Their sweet nature may make them seem like an ideal pet, but most parrots tend to live a long time, and the kakapo is no exception. Kakapo can live as long as 90 years in the wild, so even if they are critically endangered, at least the few that are still around will be here a little while longer. Terrifying Tarsiers If you ever wanted to know what Baby Yoda would look like covered in hair, well, you're in luck. This tiny, weird primate is the Tarsier, and it's found in the Philippines as well as other Southeast Asian islands. Their enormous emerald eyes are their most striking characteristic, and are so large they're actually as big as the creature's brain. Unlike most nocturnal animals, Tarsiers don't have a reflective lens at the back of their eyes to help them see in the dark. Instead, they've just evolved gargantuan, non-reflective eyes to take in as much light as possible, which is why they look so wide-eyed and spooky at night. While their eyes are definitely their most distinctive feature, these creepy little tree goblins have plenty of other unsettling traits. Being predators, they have sharp, pointy teeth and fast hands. Tarsiers can even turn their heads a full 180 degrees and leap backwards from tree to tree. Sadly, the Tarsier is endangered due to logging and mining, along with being sold off as pets on the black market. There are only between 5,000 and 10,000 Tarsiers left in the Philippines. You may feel sorry for this animal, but uh, imagine one leaping at you backwards in the dark with those teeth and creepy hands. Ugh. Bizarre Bald Ibis With a skull-like bald head, spiky jet-black feathers around its neck, and a long, thin beak, the northern bald ibis looks more like a plague doctor from times of old than an actual bird. This ancient bird is found in very dry climates, like the Middle East and Northern Africa, with fossil records of its family dating back 60 million years. That means this bird's ancestors were walking the earth only a few million years after the dinosaurs. Even though it's a relatively average-sized bird, measuring just over 30 inches in height when fully grown, it was huge in ancient Egyptian culture, with the birds featuring heavily in ancient Egyptian artworks. Some archaeologists speculate they were seen as messengers from the other world. With the way these birds look, you can hardly blame them. But even though they've been around for millions of years, they might not be around for much longer. Climate change and human use of pesticides have reduced the birds' population dramatically and it's now believed that less than 1,000 exist in the wild. Yikes, no wonder they look so grim. Amazing Mangalitsa Pig You might have heard of a wolf in sheep's clothing, but what about a pig? This fine, fabulous, fluffy creature is the Mangalitsa Pig, 
and just like a sheep, it's got a fancy fleece coating its body. Native to Hungary, these perky pigs are the result of interbreeding between regular farm pigs and Hungary's population of wild boar. The aim was to create a breed of pig that was fat and large, but didn't require as much hands-on care as regular pigs. The result was a huge pig that produced great meat, loads of lard, and an unusual fuzzy fur. Thanks to their coats, these pigs are able to thrive outside all year long, even in the cold. Although the reason you've probably never heard of them, let alone seen one before, is because they too very nearly went extinct. In the industrial farming boom of the mid-20th century, the Mangalitsa became a less important livestock. They required lots of space and time to grow, so farmers stopped rearing Mangalitsa pigs in favor of other breeds. By the 1990s, just 198 Mangalitsa pigs were left in existence. Fortunately, forward-thinking geneticist Peter Toth rescued what pigs he could and began raising and protecting them. Today, Hungary produces around 60,000 Mangalitsa piglets a year. This means they're just out of extinction's reach. Until the world gets a hankering for incredibly flavorful, albeit furry, bacon. Adorable Otter Hounds If you live in the UK and aren't currently being swarmed by hundreds of otters, you can thank the Otter Hound. The Otter Hound is a large dog originally bred in the 1300s in England to hunt river otters. The dogs were very effective at their jobs, as their webbed feet, powerful legs, and tails made them excellent swimmers. They were bred for such a singular purpose that to this day, they make for difficult pets, as it's hard to control them once they pick up a scent they're interested in. And being fairly large dogs at around 27 inches tall, they tend to require a lot of exercise. Oh, and they're very noisy. Otter hunting was outlawed in the 1960s, after which many otter hounds were sadly put down. Since then, demand for the dogs hasn't been very high, and there was less interest in breeding them. Today, there are thought to be fewer than 800 otter hounds left in the world. These poor pooches seem to be victims of their own efficiency. Insane Indus River Dolphin there are few mammals that are as rare, strange, and interesting as the Indus River Dolphin, only found in the lower parts of the Indus River in Pakistan and River Bayas in India. This dolphin species, which can grow up to 8.2 feet, has a sharper, nastier set of teeth than its ocean-dwelling brethren. This creature has up to 39 teeth in its upper jaw, and slightly fewer in its lower jaw which it uses to efficiently snap up its river-dwelling prey. It's also unique in that its eyes are so small it's almost completely blind. They navigate by producing sound from a fatty lump towards the top of their head called the melon. When the sound waves bounce back, the dolphin uses them to create a map of their surroundings, like they're seeing with sound. This echolocation is apparently so precise they can locate a kernel of corn in the water from over 50 feet away. Talk about using your melon. The species is believed to have originated in the ancient Tethys Sea, an ocean that dried up around 50 million years ago. As the sea slowly shrank, the dolphins were forced into smaller and smaller bodies of water. As if that weren't hard enough on the poor creatures, dam construction and pollution has reduced their numbers even further. Today, it's believed there are only around 1,800 Indus River dolphins left. Looks like this dolphin is close to being dull finished. Fantastic Flapshell Turtle What you're looking at right now isn't the filling of a grilled cheese sandwich that spilled onto someone's hands. It's a living thing. This is the yellow flap shell turtle, and it's pretty unique. The flap shell is a species of turtle found in South Asia, which is distinctive for its oval-shaped shell. While the flap shell turtle is currently marked as a vulnerable species due to poaching, the yellow flap shell is an even rarer variant that has only been seen a few times in the wild. It's afflicted with a rare genetic mutation 
which affects the amount of melanin, the pigment that colors living cells, that the creature produces. It's unknown whether this is albinism, a complete lack of melanin production, or leucism, a partial lack of melanin. But the end result is a turtle with a distinctive yellow coloring. It's a hugely rare sight, as only two have ever been spotted in India. Personally, I can't decide whether the turtle looks more like a slab of butter or a slice of cheese. Maybe they should rename it the Dairy Shell Turtle. Strange Sage Grouse Now, this next animal is a real showboat. The sage grouse is what's called an obligate inhabitant of America's sagebrush. This means that it cannot and does not live in any other habitat. They use sagebrush to hide from predators, shelter themselves from harsh weather, and they eat its leaves and buds. You can rightly imagine what will happen to them then if sagebrush itself is threatened. Sadly, infrastructure and energy development has damaged the sage grouse's habitat over time, with the Canadian population declining by a staggering 98% in the last 30 years. And by 2013, they were also eradicated from five of the 16 U.S. states they used to inhabit. But for all that, the sage grouse is a textbook attention seeker. Male sage grouse compete for female attention in a stomping ground called a lek. The bird will strut around the place, puffing itself up and inflating a strange sack in its chest. What's more, this dance and inflation creates a truly unique warbling noise to impress potential mates. Well, I know I'm impressed. Gorgeous Golden Tiger Now, something as dramatic sounding as a golden tiger can't actually exist, can it? Seriously, it sounds like the name of an old kung fu movie. Wait a minute. I knew it. Make no mistake though, what you're looking at right now is a very real animal. These beautiful beasts are called golden tigers, strawberry tigers, and sometimes adorably, golden tabby tigers. Whatever you call them, they're extremely rare, and there may be as few as 30 in the entire world. Golden tigers have more white on their bodies, along with patches of gold and much lighter stripes than their typically colored Bengal brethren. Here's a handy color chart when compared to a regular Bengal tiger. While they're drastically different colors from all angles, they're still equally majestic. Though not an actual subspecies, the golden tiger is an exceptionally rare coloration of tiger whose appearance is caused by an incredibly rare recessive gene. In addition to the difference in color, golden tigers tend to be slightly bigger than their normal colored counterparts, with denser, softer fur. As gorgeous as they look, just remember these cuddly looking cats are actually golden colored killing machines. Pig nosed turtle. <laughs> oh, and I, I'm sorry, it's. It's just that these turtles' unusual noses make it look like they're constantly pressing their face up against glass. The appropriately, if cruelly, named pig-nosed turtle can be found primarily in freshwater in Australia and New Guinea, where it can grow up to 27.5 inches in length and weigh up to 66 pounds. They're also known as the far less mean Fly River Turtle, but with a face like this, Nobody's calling them that. However, the turtle's unusual snout is actually a survival tool. It allows the turtle to poke its nose out of the water while the rest of it stays submerged in the water, safe from predators. Their nose also helps them search for food in the murky waters they call home. Sadly, the endangered creature is currently threatened due to its illegal trade on the black market as a pet and the sale of its eggs for food. I wonder if that's because it tastes like bacon. Flat-headed cat. Would you rather be called pig-nosed or flat-headed? 
Some poor animals just can't catch a break with these names. This is the flat-headed cat, and it can be found in Southeast Asian countries like Indonesia, Myanmar, and Thailand. This cat's diet consists mostly of fish, and its unusual shape makes it a great fisher. Its large eyes, sloped head, and small ears are all great features for an animal that wants to quickly dive into the water and ambush unsuspecting fish. The cat's molars are also larger and sharper than many other felines, meaning they can chomp down and hold on to slippery fish with ease. The flat-headed cat also has completely webbed feet. If you can believe it, another species of cat got the name fishing cat first, so our friend here was left with the goofy flat-headed cat moniker. Scientists can be so cruel. But other humans can be crueler. Devastatingly, it's one of the most threatened species of cat in the world, as over 70% of its natural swampy habitat has been converted to plantations and croplands. It's believed that there are less than 2,500 left in the wild, with that number quickly decreasing. This cat may be able to catch fish, but it can't catch a break. Dandy Dinmont Terrier Meet the fabulously titled Dandy Dinmont Terrier. If the name didn't tip you off, these dogs are very, very British. Bred in the 1700s to hunt small animals, these dogs were originally called mustard or pepper terriers due to their unique coloring. They were bequeathed to their fancy name by British author Sir Walter Scott, who wrote about a farmer named Dandy Dinmont who had six of these little rascals. A little over 11 inches in height and weighing up to just 24 pounds, these tiny terriers are undeniably cute. But sadly, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier is considered one of the rarest and most endangered purebred dogs in the world. In 2015, only 79 Dinmont puppies were born in the UK. With many speculations, the dog is now closer to extinction than the famously endangered panda. The reason for the small dog's demise is as simple as it is sad. It's just not popular anymore. Right now, designer dogs and fancy crossbreeds like Labradoodles and Cockapoos are all the rage. Nobody wants these little dandies anymore. But would you ever consider giving one of these pups a home? Let me know down in the comments. Soft-shelled turtle. If you had to name one fact off the top of your head about turtles, what would it be? I think most people would answer that they have round, hard shells. In the case of the soft-shelled turtle, however, it's the complete opposite. In fact, they kind of look like a pancake. A flat, fleshy pancake. This is the narrow-headed soft-shell turtle, and it's primarily found in the rivers of Pakistan and India. Though their reproductive rates are fairly high, the turtle is widely sold on the Asian black market for food and medicinal purposes, and if its sale is left unregulated, it risks becoming extinct in the not-so-distant future. If you didn't already think this thing was weird, it can grow up to four feet long. That's basically big enough to surf on. And though it may not look like it, this weird creature actually has a fairly long neck. It hangs around at the bottom of rivers, placing itself flat against the ground. When a tasty-looking fish swims by, it quickly extends its neck and gobbles it up. Can you imagine how undignified it would be to get eaten by this thing? I'm sorry, but when it comes to this thing's looks, there's just no way to soften the blow. Delightful Dugong These buoyant, beautiful, bulbous bodies belong to the one and only Dugong. These pudgy, playful creatures can be found throughout the Indo-Pacific waters, but mainly near Australia's northern coasts. The dugong is currently listed as vulnerable to extinction due to loss of habitat and their long history of being hunted for meat and oil. One of their close relatives, the Stellar's sea cow, has already been hunted to extinction. Dugongs have been dubbed sea cows for their big, bulky bodies and habit of spending their days grazing on seagrass. Speaking of which, it takes a lot of seagrass for dugongs to retain their healthy, 
hourglass shape. With adults typically weighing in at more than 550 pounds, a dugong will reportedly eat as much as 90 pounds of seagrass a day. That's like eating six bowling balls worth of food every 24 hours. They don't eat anything else either. These gentle giants are strictly herbivores. Though dugongs are closely related to manatees, their closest land relative is bizarrely the elephant. I mean, I can sort of see the family resemblance. Ghastly Gurriel While they're known as one of the biggest species of crocodilians in existence, gurriels might be one of the oddest-looking yet least-known reptiles on the planet. The males of this species can reach up to 20 feet in length, although that's not what makes them stand out. Their thin, weird snouts aren't just for show. They're a specialized piece of equipment engineered for their diets. Unlike alligators and crocodiles, gurriels primarily eat fish and creatures beneath the water. As their prey is more slippery and agile, gurriels have evolved to be fast and reactive. While their thin snouts mean their bite isn't all that powerful, they can cut through the water and swim much faster than an alligator or a crocodile. They were once found across Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Myanmar, Nepal, and Pakistan. However, since the 1940s, the progressive destruction of the gurriel's habitat has seen its populations decline by up to 98%, with around 250 left in the wild in India and Nepal. Wow. It's hard to see what this creature is smiling about. Roti Island Snake-Necked Turtle The Roti Island Snake-Necked Turtle is a bizarre creature with a name that, ironically, fits perfectly with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tune. These tiny turtles have a shell that can measure just over 9 inches in length, but their long necks can be the same length as their shells. Other long-necked turtle of this species such as the broad-shelled turtle, use these hilariously long necks to snap and lunge at passing prey. Their necks are so long, in fact, that they can't actually withdraw them into their shells. Instead, they have to tuck them off to one side. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a defensive shell if you have to present your neck to a potential predator, no? Regardless, it can only be found on the island of Roti in Indonesia. However, this turtle's bright eyes, cute little face, and long neck have worked against it. The animal is just too charmingly weird, and it's in high demand in the international pet trade. This has pushed the strange turtle to the brink of extinction in the wild. Though it's unknown how many are currently still alive as pets, those turtles won't exactly be breeding and increasing the wild population. Kawa bummer, dude. Well, there you have it. A collection of curious critters all teetering on the very edge. Which animal was your favorite? And have you ever been lucky enough to see one of these endangered creatures with your own eyes? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.